Okay. <laughs> yes, indeed. Um, so it's time for DIY now. Do it yourself. Brought to you by TNZ Home Improvement Center, making home improvement easy since 1986. All right, guys, remember, it's all about safety, so ensure that you protect yourself. I have my gloves and my safety glasses that are going on right now today. All right, so what I'm going to do is make an armrest for Shamla's wheelchair. That's what's um, actually going to happen this morning. So for anybody who has a loved one with a wheelchair or you yourself are on a wheelchair and you need to make yourself some new handles, well, this is part one of a two-part series on making that. And for that, you would need um, a drill with a large drill bit. This one is about... Um, I believe three eighths. Uh, this would make your countersink hole. You would then need a smaller bit. It depends on what type of nut you need to attach this to the arm of the wheelchair itself. Um, you would need, of course, the drill, uh, the key to change up your bits. I need a what's called a jigsaw. So this could actually be used to cut angles and such with your um, of your piece uh, because this one I actually need to make a curved cut. Um, I haven't made a curved cut in a long time, so I hope I can get it right this morning. All right. <laughs> um, what you would need is a piece of paper and a pen as well. So what you need to do is actually put this on the underside of the arm to find out where those um, holes are to fasten. So I marked with pen and um, on both points, and I then got where the holes would fall. So I could then measure and translate that onto the piece itself. So I have two... Uh, one by four pieces here, all right? Um, they are cut to 18 inches because that is the best length for the arm. Um, this is actually wider than the armrest she has right now because she said she wanted something a little bit wider that's a little more comfortable. So um, this is a really custom piece right here. So we're gonna, what we need to do is get something that is round uh, and bigger than the width of the one by four piece. So you could use like an ice cream container or something like that just to get the edge there. You put the edge directly up to the end there and you get the curvature just at the end. So you then make your, your mark as you could see over here. If I angle it right, yeah, there we go. So put the end right up there and then you take a pencil and you mark it around so you can get the curvature you're looking for. All right, so now I'm gonna attempt to cut that curvature with my jigsaw. And you want to make sure that, again, you move very safely. So <clears throat> with the jigsaw, there's this base here. Um, you want to ensure that this is on the piece itself. With a jigsaw, you always start from, <clears throat> from the end. All right? And you could work slowly. <clears throat> I think I may be coming down with something. Hopefully not. All right? And you work slowly to ensure that you um, don't force the machine. You just use the machine um, as it would go. So we'll go slowly. Uh, I have my mark here already. I'm going to line it up with that mark and try to get that, this cut um, as neatly as possible. There we go. One piece here is cut, it's round. Um, later on, I'll sand this up and get, um, get nice and smooth, but this is gonna be upholstered in the next episode. So um, you don't have to put too much work into this piece right now, but you don't want the upholstery to be damaged, so you'd sand the edges so these uh, rough parts would come out, okay? Now we're gonna use that paper that we got the measurement, and we wanna make sure that um, we put the holes in the correct spot on this uh, board that we just cut. So you need a measuring tape and you need a pencil as well. So just to remeasure again, all right? So this is 18 inches here. And we want to do is actually uh, line it up. Again, measure from the outside and inside as well. I'm actually, it's not going to be even. It's going to actually lap a little more on the outside. That would be more comfortable for the natural 
way in which someone would put their arms on a chair. So there'd be more on the outside rather than on the inside. So as I said, this is a one by four. It's actually not exactly one by four. It's one, uh, sorry, a one by four inches, not four inches wide. It's actually three and three quarter, but they call it one by four. Um, so you're not going to go exact. All right, so here we're going to measure about an inch and a half away from the, from the outside. So then we know where we're going to put it. We're going to do the same on the next side, just to give you an average of where, how far inside it would go. Following that, you would then translate this, fold your paper. That's the nice thing about working with paper. You could do whatever you need to with it, to where your two points are. So you know now your inside inch and a quarter. I measured these points before, all right? So I know that I'm coming in on this side about four inches from each side because they're about eight inches apart. Five inches, sorry, from each side. So here I make my first mark at five. The other side, I do the same, line it up with that inch and a half and make it at five. So I know where to put my holes now. And as I said, you're gonna put your counter sink hole first. So I'm gonna work off the edge because I don't wanna damage TTT's table over here. After the counter sink hole, what I'm gonna do is drive straight through the smaller bit, but let's just make these counter sink holes today. Oh, you might need to plug it in first, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. When you're at home and not on national TV, that's that's okay to, to do. All right. So you don't want to go all the way in. Just want to go just maybe a quarter of an inch in. This is just so that the uh, screw's head or wouldn't show and that it would actually go on the inside of this. Um, what we're going to do Next week, we're gonna put a nut on the inside here, secure it with glue um, as well. And um, before I do that, I'm gonna take this smaller bit, drive all the way through, but that is it today for um, DIY Now. Uh, join us next week for part two, and as I said, I'm making an armrest for Shamla's wheelchair. Do it yourself, brought to you by TNZ Home Improvement Center, making home improvement easy since 1986.